So I've got some bad news and some good news today. The bad news is that Disney wouldn't license us the rights to use Ewoks in today's episode of Tech Quickie. But the good news, you guessed it, it's time for episode six of Avoiding Common PC Building Traps. And I'll bet you thought we were ready to give this series a funeral pyre. Nope, let's get right into it. The Empire did not spend enough on protecting the main reactor of either Death Star, but that doesn't mean that you should go on a spending spree for your power supply either. Don't get me wrong. Buying a bargain basement PSU from a brand you've never heard of is a terrible idea as it can damage your components. But I'm saying you most likely shouldn't be spending extra on a high wattage power supply either. You see, because components today are a lot more power efficient than they were even a decade ago, you can easily get away with having a lower wattage PSU even if you're rocking a higher end CPU and GPU. A standard build with one of each of these components should be served well with a 500 watt power supply, with higher wattages really only necessary if you're running multiple graphics cards or have some other kind of exotic setup. If you really want to be sure, check out one of the power supply calculators we've linked in the video description. You might be surprised at how little you really need. Speaking of powerful components, don't feel like you need to invest in a fancy water cooling setup just because your rig is on the higher end. Although water cooling is indeed significantly more effective than traditional forced air cooling, it does not give you too much of an advantage unless you're overclocking. Even high-end CPUs and GPUs are designed to last a very long time with whichever cooling option they come with, whether that's a reference cooler or an AIB partner solution like you see included on many graphics cards. And if you go with an enthusiast class CPU that doesn't come with a stock cooler, you can still get away with an inexpensive air cooler if you're just running the chip at stock speed. So feel free to save your money and skip the water cooler unless you really just want the aesthetic. On the subject of cooling, if you're gonna be installing more than a couple fans in your case, pay attention to how many fan headers are on your motherboard. Modern motherboards allow you to control fan speeds and curves from the BIOS or the operating system, meaning you're gonna miss out on this if you have more fans than headers and you end up needing to plug some of them directly into your power supply. Though you can also pick up a physical fan controller to adjust speeds from the outside of your case or use a case with one built in. Let's wrap things up by talking about something outside of your PC itself, your monitor. In a previous episode, we mentioned ensuring that you plug in your display to your graphics card and not your motherboard in order to assure you're actually getting the performance you paid so much money for. But on a similar note, monitors with fancy features like high refresh rates and adaptive sync are becoming more and more common, but these bells and whistles often are not enabled by default. So if you have bought a monitor that supports any refresh rate above 60 hertz or any other premium features, check both your display settings and your graphics card control panel to see if everything is set properly. After all, your monitor isn't gonna come with an astromech droid to do it for you. Speaking of doing it for you, Pulseway. Pulseway is a real-time remote monitoring and management software that's compatible with Windows, Mac, Linux, and more. It gives you access to real-time status, system resources, logged in users, network performance, Windows updates, and more. You can fix problems on the go by sending commands from any mobile device. You can create and deploy custom scripts to automate your IT tasks, and you can scan, install, and update all your systems on the go. It also has remote desktop functionality and you can try it all out free today at pulseway.com or through our link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, give us a like and a subscribe and be sure to hit us up in the comments for your suggestions for future episodes.